Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proof of Taxation's team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using boilerplate. This is our part number 36. Inside this video session guys, we are going to execute Ajax request from our front-end page. If I back to browser, so as we have seen so far that this is the page so far we have developed while our plugin activation. So if I open this file into a new tab, now let's say that we have some Ajax request from this page. So how can we achieve or complete our Ajax request inside this front-end page? Back to editor. Now let's say that this is public folder. As we had discussed that is this is public accessible files. So inside this partials, we have let's say TMPL book content and here is the content now inside this content i am going to make a simple button we have now a simple button and inside this button we have an id so let's say that btn front end ajax and inside this let's say first ajax request now if we save all these changes, go inside this layout, reload this page and here we have a button. So if we inspect this button and go inside this console, so while clicking on this button, while going to this network, we have nothing. It's because we haven't coded so far. So by the help of this button, we want to make our first Ajax request from front end. So go inside this includes folder, we have the main file of this includes folder and inside this remember we have a method called define public hooks and inside this we are going to make our hook from the front end. So this loader, let's say add action and inside this add action we have wp underscore ajax and we need to provide our action name so let's say public ajax request and inside this let's say plugin public and here we need to provide our method name so let's say handle ajax request underscore let's say public now if i copy this method name go inside this public folder and this is the class file of this public folder scroll down and here let's say public function this is our method name and inside this method we are going to handle our ajax request so inside this let's say that param equal to h set let's say request and inside this as we know from admin request we are going to pass a parent parameter otherwise it will be empty so inside if let's say that not empty we have a parent variable and inside this let's say that param equal to let's say first underscore ajax request and inside this let's say echo json in code here we have a array variable and inside this let's say that status equal to 1 and let's say message equal to successfully completed first ajax from front end and finally Inside this method, we are going to use WP die method, sorry, function. Now let's open up the JavaScript file of this public folder and keep in mind that this file is firstly hooked up with this class file. So if we go inside this class file and go inside this in QA scripts, and here is the file called books management tool public.js. 
this is the file name and as we can see that by default this file is hooked up means this is the default file boilerplate has generated and by default this created file hooked up inside this inq script and also we have to make sure that this inq scripts will be called inside this define admin public and here define public hooks we have inq scripts so these are the default lines actually boilerplate has added so don't worry at all so go to this public file or instead go to this javascript file get rid of all the contents so let's say jquery function and inside this javascript file we are going to handle our ajax request so go here if i copy this id javascript file so let's say jquery document let's say on click event on this selector and here we have a callback function now here I am going to pass our post data so remember we need to use a Ajax URL so in the admin code if we go inside this admin folder open up this file now inside this go inside this inq scripts and as we know that these are the page slug so while adding this page slug it means that all the scripts what we have defined here is adding when we get that slug into the url but remember this url is not is not the part of slug what we have inside this array so simply we don't want any code repeated inside this front end only we want about ajax url so we are going to use wp localize script inside this public file go to, go inside this inq scripts method and pasting it here remember this should be not the first line like this it should be the second part why because this is the handle name and it is dependent on this inq script not only on this file let's say that we have another javascript files hooked up inside this method so basically this script depends on the inq of that script so if we save all these changes and for now if we go to our front end page reload this page press ctrl u to get the source code and if i find about the object that we have added something here so copy this owt underscore book because this is the property name means this will be an object and if i find something about this owt book and this is all about our object inside this object we have name author and the ajax url so by the help of this ajax url we are going to complete our ajax request from front end so back to our code go to javascript file and let's say that where ajax url equal to owt underscore book dot this is property name and this is object means sorry this is an object name and here we have properties so owt book dot ajax url so copy this ajax url and let's define the post method so ajax url post data here we have a callback function and this is going to take response from server and simply i am going to console inside my console tab so let's response this is the response we are getting from the server and here we need to provide this is post data and here we need to provide some parameters and from the admin we have to pass something action and the param so here we have action and remember in the action name if you go to the includes folder so before close all these files so define public hooks and this is our ajax name go here and pasting it here and also we need to pass the param so if i scroll down so this is 
our param so copy and pasting it here now if we save all these changes back to browser Control F5 to reload and if we go inside this inspect means network also inside this console tab I'm going to click on this first HX request so click on that and here as we can see that also inside this network section we have our admin HX and this is the response what we are getting from the server now this is how can we make our first Ajax request from front-end page? But if you are thinking that this is same as the admin panel Ajax request, so but this is slightly different. It is possible when we currently logged in with the WordPress setup. As we can see that we are currently logged in with the admin detail. But if I copy this same URL and open up our incognito window that is private window, pasting this URL but this time we don't have any user currently logged in. If we inspect, go inside this network tab and click on this first Ajax request button. Now here inside this network tab we have a 400 status code that is bad request. So how can we actually solve this issue? We will discuss in the next video that is how, how can we make our Ajax request from let's say when no user logged in or in case we have a logged in user. So right now we have seen all, all about that is logged in user how it can be possible and the next video we will see that in this situation how it will be possible. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.